So that's the press uh, which was held today, even as you see the visuals on your screen. Uh, it was started by Mallika Arjun Kharge and then several leaders spoke about the opposition meeting today which was held in Bengaluru, a two-day affair yesterday and today my colleague Brijesh Pandey is with me in the studio and let me not waste any more time because the visuals speak more than what I can actually explain and get into the most crucial question as it were. Brijesh, your first comment on the name because any name you know, uh, culturally, socially, politically, it's very important, you know, that what the name signifies. What do you make of this Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance, the acronym of which is India? Do you think it's a master stroke or you think, listen, everyone will get used to it one day? So, no, no, I think, I think it's a very smart uh, name uh, for the simple reason is that usually, you know, when you are up against uh, a party which is dominating uh, both the social media as well as uh, the electoral media, which is BJP. Uh, you know, uh, if you would have said or made some other acronym, mm -hmm. chances of it being brutally attacked and trolled uh, would have been uh, would have been there. But I think you know, India, uh, the name which is there for Indian National Democratic uh, uh, Developmental Inclusive Alliance, uh, is is a, is a fit acronym, and it also, uh, as uh, you know, Udhav Thakre was saying, as uh, so was uh, Malikarjun Khadge, uh, that it it also imbibes uh, the uh, the diversion which is there in uh, all these 26 parties. I, I, I personally feel that uh, the name is good and uh, for once uh, it seems that you know the uh, 26 uh, parties who have uh, uh, come together to form India has uh, got their act correct. Narayan, if you could, do you think it's a turning point for the opposition unity group as it were, a new name and almost like a new avatar as it were? Uh, great question, Siddha. I think it's not so much the name, perhaps, that is the uh, rallying point for these disparate groups, but the real uh, very existential threat that each of them faces uh, in the light of the circumstances that we've seen in recent uh, years over the, the two uh, Modi government uh, terms, which is basically that federalism has changed in shape. The center has assumed a much greater level of concentration of political power. And as we've seen, uh, and you've mentioned as well earlier, the weaponization of certain central agencies uh, against political opponents at the state level. And if regional parties are pulling apart, and in the past, India's, the past of India's political history, were not able to come together to uh, form a viable coalition at the national level, they may do so now uh, almost from the negative perspective of fear, because they have understood now that institutionally, this BJP government, the NDA alliance that underpins it, is capable of seriously uh, pulling the rug out from under their feet, so to speak, politically speaking. And uh, that could well turn out to be the unifying factor rather than the name. The name, of course, is catchy and it's designed to be, uh, you know, a, 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 sign, a sort of a call to say, come together under the same umbrella. And, and they, they might well try that. The real question will be, will this desire to come together triumph over their otherwise innately uh, sort of different diversified perspectives on how to rule and the kind of ethos with which they rule their parties, their families, all of those things that are involved. Right. I mean, very well said that, you know, uh, you said that not so much the name as it were, but the concept and you really kind of expanded the entire conversation, made it more expansive. Sai Shekhar, do you think it will be a turning point? Because, you know, look at it, it's a very smart move. You know, brand gurus, I'm sure tomorrow are going to write op-eds on it. I can already see two, three names, you know, <laughs> swinging to my head saying, what does this mean? You know, the name, the acronym, the Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance. Look at the operative word, Sai, inclusive, the acronym of India, so that no one accuses them of this constant thing that we hear, are you nationalistic enough? Desh Drohi, Desh Premi, etc. So, do you think the name is a turning point, Sai Shekhar? To me, it looks like a joke. And also, I am gripped by a sense of deja vu because it's not the first time that the Congress is uh, stitching coalitions. And uh, Congress coalition, if Congress is the big brother, it succeeds. That has been proven in 19, 2004 and 9. And uh, if the Congress is not the big brother, if Congress is denied that role by more serious contenders, maybe they would take a back seat for now. But there are quite a few chief ministers seen on the dais, like Arvind Kejriwal, who has two states 
under his party. Who is, he is a truly national party apart from the Congress there. And uh, then uh, Sharad Pawar, who actually aspired to become the Prime Minister during Narasimha Rao time, uh, of course, he ended up being the international ICC chairman, and uh, he could not keep his own flock together in uh, Maharashtra. And then uh, Hemant Soren, and uh, he is also a chief minister, and uh, Balwan Singh Mahan, uh, Siddharamaya. So many chief ministers are there, but then uh, Congress being in a position to stitch an, an opposition coalition, and then arriving at a common minimum program, all these things will be Congress programs, and others will have to toe the line. Otherwise, I don't think uh, it will be a successful uh, experiment, number one. Number two, I don't think there is anybody who can be projected from within this uh, coalition as a rival to uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, not that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is delivering very well, not that BJP is doing extremely well, not that the concerns raised by these uh, members in these opposition parties are not valid. It's not like that. But at the same time, I don't. Uh, I see in, uh, no one in this uh, coalition uh, to be uh, actually, you know, rivaling Narendra Modi. Uh, are they saying that Rahul Gandhi will be the prime minister candidate? No, Saishik, uh, I think we are running away too soon, and I think that you know we can never say never ever. You know, you know Indian politics better that, than NDA, most people. No, no, see, Narendra Modi NDA. could be a monolithic juggernaut. But so was Indira Gandhi at one time. A time comes, but which comes rarely. In the history of a nation and all that, you remember that speech. Of course, you know, in a different context, I'm quoting it. And, you know, you, you it's too soon. Today, the baby has been named. Let the baby start crawling, sitting, walking, speaking, teething. You know, as a woman, I can say it's a very long journey. Let me tell you, it's not easy. <laughs> so, not 2024, you mean? Sorry? Not 2024. You never <laughs> know. You know, Sai Shekhar, also as a mother, you blink your eye and they are grown up and they are challenging you. So <laughs> I know this. Uh, Amitabh Tiwari, good to see you. Amitabh Tiwari, you know what? When the name was announced and I was sitting in the newsroom, I was, do not know, I'm sharing this with you and that's what good debates are all about, being honest. I was reminded of DK, but remember Indra is India and India is Indra? You know, that famous what D.K. Barua said about this thing because everyone in the newsroom said, it's India, it's India, it's India, it's India versus NDA. That's what we are calling it. What do you think, Amitabh, of the name? Do you think it's a master stroke? Because I think everyone debated inclusive, you know, is developmental as in Vikas. Unka jo Vikas hai, hamara developmental hai, inclusive hai hum, because it's also Mohabbat ki dukan from the Bharat Jodo Yatra. So do you think as a brand, it, as it were, they've done a good job, Amitabh Tiwari? I think they've done a good job because huh. if you see, it is very difficult to laugh off the word which they are using for the alliance, correct? Number two, it shows a progression from UPA to India. Because in, in UPA, if you remember, the left parties were not officially part of UPA. So the number of parties which represent this alliance are spread out across the country. And there are also parties which were never part of uh, UPA or have been doing anti-Congress politics for a long, long time in states and even at the national level. It, uh, BJP. For BJP, it is difficult to turn it around because you could say India versus NDA, they could come up with India versus Bharat or something else. But you could not uh, uh, accuse the alliance of this uh, having this liberal or using an English sort of a word because the prime minister also uses India as a word very often. Correct. We'll make India, mm. India will become the top three or something. Etc. Correct. So from all these perspectives, I think, and inclusiveness, as you said, because they're trying to pitch that the yeah. Bharti Janata Party, while it is dividing the country on religious and communal lines, uh, the NDA stands for inclusiveness. So it is a good, good word. I mean, when I uh, uh, looked at the word also uh, uh, in, in one of the tweets, I also uh, was surprised, but also uh, found it uh, uh, a good acronym to to start with because as you said the, the baby is born today and 10 months is a long long time in politics we've all seen i mean uh, two weeks is is enough to turn the tide so it's uh, all these parties coming together on a platform 
despite having all these differences despite uh, a lot of skepticism being shown coming up and uh, putting out a yeah. name as well as coming up with 10 11 uh, uh, points which were discussed during the alliance is a good move uh, for a good battle in 2020. Right. So because uh, now it's very clear because you see a name uh, is very, very important, you know, because like I said, today in today's day and age when it becomes almost a brand, I mean, it's like a toothpaste brand. I'm sorry if I'm sounding facetious, but that's how it is. You know, how do you fight it out when you go to the people? Because social media is very, very active. The youth population is very, very strong and, you know, it garners a lot of reactions. So, therefore, it's a good move according to two people. Sai Shekhar Sin thinks it's a joke and he says that it's not going to last. And that's what I'm going to now come to. We are talking about India versus NDA, India being the acronym of the 26 parties, um, you know, which uh, came together in Bengaluru and uh, the acronym for Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance, which is India. Let me know. Let me now go to the guest once again. You know, the second talking point, if it can uh, uh, come up, this is that we, I'm quoting this, said we are not interested in power or post of PM. This was a statement which was made by Mallika Arjun Kharge before they actually, uh, you know, came out and uh, addressed the press. So I want you to uh, tell me Narayan Lakshman because apparently, and this is all speculative, but we have enough sources. It was said that, you know, a lot of parties had a problem with Rahul Gandhi in the sense if Rahul Gandhi will be projected as someone who leads it. So I'm asking you that, you know, is that a very smart move as it were, you know, by saying we are not interested in power or the post of prime minister? Yes, uh, so I do think it's a good starting point because it's almost as if you say, let's keep this space a little expansive. Let other regional parties also chime in. Because like I said, everyone has a different paradigm of how they think good governance should be delivered to the people. And before that, indeed, how they should campaign and win the hearts and minds of the people. So to say, let's not jump the gun. I really liked your analogy of letting the child grow and uh, develop. Um, it's to say, let's things evolve organically. Uh, a leader will be picked, have to be picked at some point and quite soon. But let us have some conversations. Let everyone's views get aired. Let everyone have a level of comfort. As you could see uh, in the Im some of the images today, they were sitting around at a round table and conversations have begun. But these are going to be very complex conversations. That I, and I think therein will lie the challenge that they face because obviously the NDA is going to really come after them with everything they've got. And they're going to talk about you know, the lack of unity, lack of cohesion, different visions and inability of or incapacity allegedly of them to of the India Alliance to pull together. Uh, so the India, the newborn India Alliance is going to have to have an answer ready for that. They're going to have to speak the language of good governance. If they hammer on about communalism and uh, other, uh, you know, minority versus Hindutva, they risk alienating people. While it may be true, uh, they risk, they must, be, they must be very careful about the kind of language they pick. And I think all of these early conversations are going to be about that. And uh, as you indicated earlier too, the choice of PM will, uh, PM candidate rather, will come up uh, in the course of that conversation. 